Hi, it's Cara and today I'm going to be pre-filming a bunch of videos, the first of which is this one, which is the first of two challenges that form part of my 2016 reading goals. This is the Big Books Challenge, the 2016 Big Books Challenge. If you want to do this challenge, join in, feel free, let me know, tag me in your videos, I want to see them if you're interested. Um, and the idea, essentially, is to, over the course of the year, read 12 big books. I've kind of defined big books as over 500 pages. Um, some of these are big, big books, and others are just big books. Um, but I realised I have a habit of not reading the big books I own. So I'm making an effort to read them this year. Um, I'll talk more about how I'm planning to achieve that in my New Year's resolutions video, which I'm also filming today because it's coming up to the Christmas season and I don't want to have to worry about trying to film when family are down and all that kind of stuff, when it gets busy over the Christmas New Year. So I'm pre-filming because I know what I want to talk about right through till like the next couple of weeks worth of videos. So let's get started. This is the 2016 Big Book Challenge. Can you tell I'm dying of heat exhaustion? It's hot here. It's really hot today. So hot. So yes, the goal of this challenge is to read 12 big books. I've selected, that's that's not 12, that's 7, 12, 12, 12 big books, one a month. Um, I've selected 11. I've left the 12th one up to be a new release, something that comes out over the course of the year. Um, some things I have in mind include... Um, Doors of Stone, which is the third King Killer Chronicles, like The Name of the Wind, The Wise Men's Fear, and then I think it's called Doors of Stone, or its working title is Doors of Stone. Um, if that comes out this year, it might do, it might not. I'll read that as my 12th one. Um, if Winds of Winter happens to come out, Georgia R. R. Martin, if that happens to come out, that can be my 12th one. But essentially, I'm leaving it free. I've also made an effort not to double up on series in this. Like, I could have got 12 big books from, like, two series. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to read a big range of things. So each of these are from a different series. Um, only one of them, of the 11, I don't currently own. But I own books 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Or I'm missing two. I'm, I'm missing, like, the first one and two others somewhere along the line. Um, because I got them all from my nan but somebody had already borrowed the first one off her and never gave it back, so she didn't have the first one. Uh, which I'm going to talk about this one first. And this is Outlander, or Cross Stitch will be the edition I might get. I don't know. We'll see which one's cheaper. Cross Stitch is the UK title. Um, I own, like, nearly every other book in this series. But I don't own the first one, but I will pick it up very shortly. So once I do, that will be one of these 12 books. Outlander is really famous. You, you've almost definitely heard of it. Historical fantasy, not historical fantasy, historical fiction, kind of fantasy, I guess. She time travels. Science fiction? Historical science fiction? Um, and it's got a lot of reviews, the TV show, all of that kind of stuff. I haven't seen the TV show. Mum attempted to read the book. She brought it out from the library um, after having watched the first season, and she found it really hard because all the plots were doubling up, and she didn't like that. She was like, I know what's going to happen. My interest is gone. So I'm not watching the TV show intentionally until after I've read the first book. So the first book then has to get read this year because I want to watch the show. So that is the first of my big books. The rest of these are in no particular order. I have them all in front of me. I, I didn't plan the order in any way, shape or form. I'm just going to lift them up. First we have The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first book in the Mistborn trilogy. And now there's like an extra three, or well, there will be an extra three in January. There's an extra two, and then the third one's coming out in January. Um, I'm hopeful to read more than just this one of this, but only one will apply to my challenge. Um, I do now own the first two, the third one I'm getting for Christmas, and I know that. I bought it and then handed it off to my mum as a Christmas present. Um, this is a high fantasy following an idea of, I think they consume metals to make magic. I know that everyone loves Brandon Sanderson and I want to love Brandon Sanderson and I just need to read them. I know I will love them. So, and these are the kind of things that I, I just keep putting off. So I need to read this. Yeah. Or do they, is, is it the metal eating ones? I know they have, um, 
it's where the where the bad guy won. I think is that this one? He has a lot of series. I can't remember which is which. And they're all most of them are set in the same universe too, which doesn't help. Next we have Aragon by Christopher Paolini. Yes, this is the ugly movie edition cover. I obviously, you can see how battered and bruised this is. I have technically read this before. I was like 12. I can't remember any significant details. Well, I can't remember any detail. I can remember like major plot points, but more because I've seen the movie more recently than I've read this. Um, I did, I've read the main reason why I want to read this and reread it is because I have the rest of the series and I've only ever read this one and half of the second one. And I DNF'd it because something else popped up that I wanted to read, um, not because I wasn't enjoying it. So I'm making an effort to read. Th this will reappear in my next video as well, which is my um, finish that series challenge. So you'll see this again, but this is also counting for the big book challenge. Um, and it's obviously a big book. Um, it's not super chunky. This is probably one of the smaller ones I've got. It's just over 500 pages. And I think I've read this the second, half read this the second time and then DNF'd it again because I had something else that popped up, which I had a bad habit of that. I'm working my way out of it. I haven't done it lately, but I used to do it all the time where if something new came out, I would just pick that up and then I would DNF the last one, the one I was reading because I just never got back to it. So I'm going to make an effort to read this. This yeah um this coming year 2016 um this is obviously fantasy young adult fantasy following aragon here and dragons it's a battle winner i have the rest in the normal cover i just have the movie cover of this one because the movie came out right when i bought it or when i got it bought for me then we have Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. This is another one of the shorter ones. It's 600 pages. Um, this is a dual perspective, dual narrative even, story following Darcy and Lizzie. And Darcy is a novelist writing her, her debut novel. And in the publishing world, so you follow her journey through the publishing industry. And then you follow the novel she's writing, which is Lizzie. Um, I've heard this is amazing. I've had this on my shelf for about a year now. And I really, really want to read it. It would be my first Scott Westerfeld novel, but I've heard amazing things. So I want to pick this up too. Obviously, I'm making this challenge for a reason, people. I need to stop saying that because I'm making this challenge for a reason. Then we have The Quick by Lauren Owen. This is another one of the shorter ones. This barely makes 500 pages, but it looks chunky. So I keep not picking it up. Um, this, I believe, is a horror, kind of quirky, like weird, th romance horror kind of thing. Adult, um, Victorian England, I'm like, I'm all over this. I haven't actually had this that long, but I've had it on my radar for quite a while, and I, I'm pretty sure I found it on discount, so I picked it up. And yeah, I've had it for maybe six months and I'm really, I have been putting it off. So I'm making an effort. Then we have Red Seas Under Red Skies by Scott Lynch. This is book two in the Gentleman Bastard sequence. Um, I've read book one, obviously. This is, again, just over 600 pages. Um, I read book one earlier this, this year, 2015, right at the start of 2015, I believe, or maybe the end of 2014. I really loved it and I also have book three but I never got around to doing it book four comes out soon so therefore I need to like get on this and keep going I think the reason I didn't continue straight away ish was because each book kind of resolves itself pretty well the overarching plot line resolved so it didn't feel like a big cliffhanger even though obviously characters still had places to go the problem of the first book was resolved. So I'm excited to see what happens in this one because this looks like pirates and like pirates. Plus the characters are great. Love them. Then we have this bad boy which is The Way of Kings. I have it in the two volume small paperback edition but I'm counting it as one book. It's a thousand pages of one book. It just would be a little bit crazy if they included it in one binding. Um, so we have The Way of Kings part one and the way of kings part two but they're one book 
Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to read them as one. I'm going to read them straight on from each other. I'm not going to take a break, um, unlike what I would normally do for any other series. I'm not treating them as two books. They're one book. Um, these are also by Brandon Sanderson, as you can probably tell. They kind of have a matching style cover to the Mistborn one that I showed you first. Um, these ones are like from a 10 book series where there's, there's only two out, two huge thousand page beasts. Um, but I think it's about, to be honest, I know there's warriors, I know there's these hidden things they're trying to find, so that's, that's about it. But I know a lot of people who've read these and loved them, and I'm, I'm really feeling the fantasy right now, so... I'm going to get this read. I'm also going to purchase book two, which is Words of Radiance. And apparently each book follows a different character. And it's going to be like five characters. And then the second five books in the series follow the same five characters again, I believe. But who knows? We're only on book two. Things could change. Um, but I'm really excited to read this. So excited. Then we have The Bone Clocks by David Mitchell. This is also about hundred pages though it looks huge it looks way bigger than it actually is but it has pretty thick pages I think this is um David Mitchell always writes magic realism kind of things um and I like I've seen Cloud Atlas I haven't read it it is technically just down there out of sight um but the bone clocks is his Mo not most recent, there's a new little one he's brought out, which goes with this, which I'm hopeful to pick up and read as well, but obviously not for this challenge, it's only like 200 pages, but I want to pick up this one because it's been taking up space on my shelf, and because it's just so big, it's like the size of my head, it's huge, like compared to this little guy, it's absolutely ginormous, um, like thick wise and everything, so I want to pick this up and read it and I'm just so excited like I love his style of storytelling like, even though I haven't actually technically read any of the books um Cloud Atlas the movie blew my mind so I'm definitely keen to read this I might read Cloud Atlas during the year too who knows and then we have The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton this won the man booker in 2013 um it's huge, again, like, ginormous, but, you know, um, it is over 800 pages. I've heard amazing things. It's, I'm pretty sure it's New Zealand, Australian, something like that. I remember when it came out, it got a lot of hype, so I picked it up then, and that was, like, 2013, and I just haven't touched it since, so I'm making a concerted effort to read this this year. It's another big book that I'm going to read. Then we have The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. Um, this is 650, 625, 650 pages. Um, I have given this as a gift by my lovely friend Claire. Um, originally I thought I'd picked it up for a dollar and then something happened and I didn't actually have it and I was very disappointed with myself. Um, I think it fell out of the bag that I got, like, a bag of books for $10. And I think it fell out of the bag, so I lost it. But I had the sequel, so Claire bought me this. I now have all three. Um, but, like, I've heard amazing things about this series. And so I need to pick it up. Again, chunky, terrifying, daunting. But I'm going to do it gonna do it plus I actually really like this cover like yes it's got this annoying like not actually a dust jacket dust jacket I'm like what a nice cover nice and finally we have I uh 1q84 by uh Haruki Murakami and this technically says the complete trilogy and it is I guess it is it's like 1200 pages huge beast of a book like huge and it's like bible paper like it looks big and then it's like bible paper but tiny thin pages but um I've heard from a couple of people who've read this that it's better to read all in one go rather than break it up apparently it was kind of like released in three volumes but written all as one and there's no natural gaps as such they're kind of just 
down at the end of a chapter and they chopped it. So it's better to read it all as one, otherwise it feels super cliffhangery. Um, so I'm probably going to do that. Um, it doesn't say anything in here about how it should be read. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to read them all three as one big book. It's big, isn't it? Um, this is probably the most daunting of all of these, really, to be honest. This and Way of Kings are the biggest. This, this is by far the biggest. But I guess if Doors of Stone comes out and that makes up number 12, that's going to be the biggest because it would be about this size, maybe bigger. The last one was about this size and it was just one book, not technically three books. So... We'll see how we go. So those are the books that I'm going to attempt to read in 2016 to fulfill the big book challenge. Um, so 12 books, which is essentially one a month. Um, but I, who knows, I aim to read, like, I, I don't want, I'm not going to pace myself to, like, must read one a month. Um, in fact, already in my planned January TBR, I hope to read two of them. Mainly because I want to read all of these, but then I also want to read some of the sequels and things. So about half of these um, have more in the series. So this one doesn't, obviously. But this one does. This one doesn't. This one technically does, but not so much. Um, this one does. This one does. This one doesn't. This one doesn't, this one does, and this one does. So, and Outlander obviously does, but I guess Doors of Stone, or whatever new release I pick, won't have a sequel. Um, obviously. Um, so, because it will be the newest one. So, or it'll be a standalone, it'll be the only one, or the newest one in the series. So, I think it's about half of these have sequels. One, two, three, four, five. Six when you count Outlander. So yeah, half. Half of these have series continuations. So I'm hopeful I can read not just these 12 big books, but some more big books. Um, and especially seeing as you'll see Aragon again in my Finish That Series challenge. So um, yeah, I want to read more big books than this. So I'm hopeful I can read more than one of these a month maybe two for the first little while, get them finished, then I can keep reading other series um, or continuations of these. But yeah, so, or I attempt to read one of these a month and allow myself to read sequels after I've read one of these a month. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet though. We'll see. Um, but in my, um, got like my news resolutions video, you'll see how I intend to do that, like other plans I've made to make that simpler for myself. But you'll see that then. So that's all for today. Oh, this is already a huge video. Oh, I apologize so much. But there's, there was 12 books to talk about. So, yeah. Um, I will see you soon with another video. Um, obviously, I'll be in the exact same outfit because I'm filming them all right now and I'm not going to get changed. It's too hot. But I will see you next week with another video. Or you may, I may have something during the week. I don't I'll see you soon with another video. Um, yeah. Oh, if you're doing the 2016 Big Book Challenge, if I can convince you to take up this challenge, comment down below, tell me what you want to read, what's on your shelf that's big that you want to knock off, and I will see you soon with another video. Goodbye. Yeah.